Do you feel that you are operating this ship? Are you driving it? Yes. You are. Okay. Are you alone in this ship, or do you sense someone else there with you? Yeah, there's another me. There's another you? Uh, another person. There. Okay. All right, and what do they look like? They're just big and huge. Okay, big. Mm -hmm. I have a big head like that, and must be like eight feet tall. And eight feet. It's a big head, and it's it's kind of like the texture of a stone, but rubbery at the same time, shiny. Mm. The skin? The skin of this person. It's kind of humanoid because it's got legs and it's got... It's got arms, you know, but it's but it's not wearing any clothes. You can't see nothing because it's it's just like it's just a big bean with a big head. The eyes are like small, but it looks friendly. Mhm. Mm and he's just kind of like like he takes care of me. It's my mentor. Mhm. Mm it's somebody that that is there for me. And we we're about to land in there to go to that volcano and you're going into the volcano uh-huh but the volcano is snowed in like there's no fire in there right and we're going mm -hmm. in there okay so you're you're going in there you're the one who's operating this ship but i don't see me but i know i'm there yes do you feel big like your mentor no okay. i feel like that's me it's you, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Okay, so you're going into this volcano. Tell me everything you see and sense and so feel. So you go in there, and it's cold and it's dark. But some way, somehow, we can see. I don't see any lights, but but I can see the texture of the volcano. It's rugged, you know. Yes. Like that, almost like the inside of a tree. Mm -hmm. That's exactly how it looks like. And you're going in and you're going in and you're going down, 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 down. Mm -hmm. Does it feel or sense as if you're traveling for a while when you go in there? Yeah, it's like you're just going down and down and you're going to get there somewhere through there. Okay. And then we just go and then we just go like tun like, a, like a tunnel. Tunnel like. next do you have lights on in the spaceship no. so you can see no you just know where you're going well, just like we know where we're going mm -hmm. so and I can see only like the only parts that I can see that it's lit it's or to see that there's light to see it's only the sides like the walls of the tunnel the walls everything the else looks dark in front of me okay interesting and going okay like to come out like to a city you arrive into a city into a city that it looks like it's also like made out of ice cubes or something like that made out of what like frozen like ice cubes oh ice cubes okay uh -huh. so it's like an ice city like that you don't see like movement you don't see no no people there like everything is like everybody is inside or something okay it's interesting. Mm -hmm. Is it a big city? Yeah, it looks like it's a big city. Mm -hmm. And does it feel like there are um, structures made of ice? Yes. Structures. There's mm -hmm. structures made of ice. It seems like I come to work. Mm. Like it's more like a place to work. Like okay. a lab or something. Oh, okay. All right. What happens next? So I land. Mm -hmm. And both, like, doors open. And it's, and it's super bright in there. Like a bright, bright, bright light. Mm-hmm. And it's like an engineer. Like they're, it's like really, really bright. It's kind of hard to see what's going on there. Okay, it's very bright. Mm -hmm. Are you 
you stepping out? No, I'm stepping the ship. Like I'm already in the building. You're in a building. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. It's really bright in there. And you sense yourself walking? Mm hmm. Okay. I want you to look down at your feet. Look down at your feet, at your body. How do you perceive yourself? Yeah, I look like that one guy that I just described. Yeah. Like the three, only from like three cloth or like that. Yeah. Those are your feet? Uh huh. Mm hmm. And I hear, I hear like the like the thumping of it. Okay. You can hear yourself uh -huh. walking. Uh -huh. But like, like if I'm like an important person in there, like some type of you are. scientist or like I belong there, like that's my office or something. Okay. You belong there. Yeah. All right. Let's go to a scene that allows us to explore what it is that you do in this in this space, whether it's a lab or whatever it is. I'm so curious what it is that you do there. It seems like we're experimenting like with energies. Like laser energies, like electrical energies. Mm -hmm. I almost gonna say that it's atomic. Jeez. That came to your mind? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So how do you experiment? Like I see the light that I could go up out of the building. Mm. Almost like a mind. You know like the, like an observatory that, that opens up and things yeah. come out of the building? Mm -hmm. That's what it looked like. Like to mm -hmm. go out to the surface. Mm. And when it goes out to the surface, it creates thunder and it creates lightning. It does? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why is that important? Why do you need to create thunder and lightning? It is harvested. Mm -hmm. It's rare. What does this device that creates thunder and lightning, what does it look like? It's literally just, it looks just like a like a lever that you just push down. Mm -hmm. It looks kind of rudimentary because it's got like transformers, you know, those electrical transformers from back in the day that had like this little swirly thing like that. Mm -hmm. And the two little needles with the little, with the little wire, almost like what's inside of a, of a, of a light bulb, mm -hmm. but it's out in the wall. And then you just like, it's huge though. Like the lever is huge. It is, but you're big too, right? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Is it hard for you to move it? No. No. Okay, and when you switch the lever. It creates, it, the light goes out and it creates that lightning in that planet. It does create the lightning, okay. In that planet. So like electricity, like mm -hmm. they're harvesting electricity like they're trying to create weather or but I don't see any movement in those in those cities and I won't look like nobody lives there mm -hmm. it's more of an experimental site yeah mm. all right what else do you do down there you rode all the way down there down the volcano through the tunnel into the secret city into your structure, this building that holds this device. What else do you do down there? I guess teach others mm -hmm. like how to create that. Mm -hmm. Do you see the others there? Yes, but they're smaller. Mm. Do you think they're young? They look like reptiles. They do. Like little dinosaurs. Little dinosaurs? Mm -hmm. And they're wearing, and they're wearing like doctors' coats. They are. Yeah. And they're small. But they're smaller. Maybe five feet. These doctor coats are they white? They're white. They are. Mm -hmm. And they got their names on it. They have like blue little letters with their names. Mm-hmm. 
Are they letters that are familiar to you? I could read them. You can. What does one say? It says a call. Like A-K-U-L. A-K-U-L. But it's not in like, it's not. In to say it a call is not in um, like, like an American language. Right, you just recognize it. I just it. recognize that that's what it says. Mm -hmm. What other names do you see on the coats? Kukul. Spell that. K-U-K-U-L. Yes. My name is Makul. M-A-Q-U-L. That's your name? That's my name. Mm -hmm. And then there's another one called Lukul with an L. L-U-Q-U-L. But there are doors, and when you open them, they take you into nothingness, but it looks like their pathway to somewhere, to travel in time or something, or to other places. Mm -hmm. Do you go in those doors? No. Like, I can see them. Mm -hmm. That we have that there in the lab. It's the lab. How many doors are there? I see, like, the one that's open, where I can see that it's, like, blackness there. And then I can What do you see beyond it? Blackness, like if you are in space in the blackness. I see. But it's not like something that you get sucked into it. Mm -hmm. It's like there's doors there. I can see at least four doors, like one right here and like three over here. And the walls are white. And so you've never gone through that door? It seems like that's like doors to go home. Okay. Like go home or a place that you want to go to and be at. Mm -hmm. like, a, like a fast way to get to somewhere. I see. Mm -hmm. And are they used regularly? Yes. Who uses them? It looks like the workers use them. Would like that be? Cool and a cool and cool and cool. And, cool. Yeah. and so is there anything else that you teach them down there? Disciplines, like mopping and sweeping. For earth, that's like he said, for earth, you're gonna need this in earth. Okay, so do you actually see mops and yes. brooms there? Yeah. And you're teaching them how to use the broom? Yes, and how to mop. And how to mop. Like this is, you have to go mop and you have to go sweep, because you will need this on earth. You will need this on earth, okay. And they don't question it? No, they like obedience, they don't talk or anything. Mm-hmm. Like all the communication is maybe telepathically or something. What else do you teach them? To dance. Mm -hmm. Why is that important? Because they're going to need it on earth. They're going to need it on earth. Do you dance to any sound? Yes, like 60s rock English music. Mm -hmm. How do you think you have access to the music? I don't see anything, I just hear it. You hear it. Maybe we produce it or we can create it whatever mm -hmm. we want. Yeah. And so does it feel as if that you're preparing a cool and cacool and lukool to go to Earth? It looks like that's what it is. Mm -hmm. Why do you think you need to do that? Why are they coming to Earth? To experience life on Earth. Have you ever been to Earth? I have. Mm -hmm. How did you like it? I loved it. You did? Mm -hmm. I love the dancing. You do? Mm -hmm. I feel like laughing as I'm teaching them how to, how to dance. Like it brings the memory of Earth as I'm doing it. It does. Mm -hmm. What sort of moves are you showing? Like my 60s dance like um okay six is rock yeah and so these little dinosaur beings in their white coats are they moving and dancing yes they seem happy to they are how long have you been teaching over 500 years mm -hmm. do you like what you do i love it i love teaching mm-hmm do you only teach in this space, in this laboratory that you're in? No, it seems like I teach on Earth, too. 
You do. Mm-hmm. What sort of teaching did you do in your incarnations on Earth? Science. Science. But I'm a man. Mm-hmm. With glasses, with brown glasses, big glasses. And I am a little ball. But it looks like. I guess it's like the 1800s. Okay. I have straight, the striped pants. I put in some black. My hair is like on to the side, and I got like glasses that are bigger than my face. Mm-hmm. And, um, and I'm wearing a white shirt and like a big broom, like a university. Like, okay. and I have, it almost looks like a wand, but it's like a stick. Yeah. To go like this on the on the chop on the on the. On the, on the board. green board. Yes. The blackboard. You're pointing. I'm pointing to them, mm-hmm. to the people there. Mm-hmm. I'm a little chubby, like like my belly hangs over here. Okay. I'm tall. And what about your students? What does that space look like? Like it's fun. Like they're learning and people laugh because I'm funny. You are. I'm teaching, I'm teaching, and I'm teaching. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go back and just connect with McCool again. And I'm so curious about your planet, your home planet. Is this your home planet? No. Mm-hmm. Okay, so why do you go to this space? Where do you think you are where you landed in this snow and flew into this volcano. Where do you think you are? Like another planet or another, Mm -hmm. another place, but it's not where I live. It's not where you live. That's just like a teaching facility or Mm -hmm. or a lab, like somewhere out there from from people, like there's experiments going on in there with the lightning and the mm-hmm. electricity and the density of the clouds. and mm-hmm. So let's explore where you do come from, your home planet. Can we do that? So let's just move through time and space and move to where it is that you do live, where there are others like you. It almost looks like the Jetsons, um, mm-hmm. like the Jetsons, like, like, like they're bubbles, like very thin bubbles, mm-hmm. like, like as buildings. I almost look like a, like a sphere, it's like a sphere, but it's mm-hmm. super thin, but super strong. And they're like, some of them are bigger and smaller, like under, right under the big ones, the little small one as a base. Mm-hmm. But there's so many of them, like, mm. throughout. Mm-hmm. It's a city. It's a city. Mm-hmm. And I live there, and I have a very white floor. Like, if it's light in my... And I'm that being. You are? Like, that one tall being that I described. Mm-hmm. Like, with the eight feet with the long arms and that. Yeah. But I like my space. Like I have a, a, a place to sit and rest. What does that look like? It's almost like if it's it's like a white bench but it's, it's lighted. It's like white lighted but like the armrests are clear. Mm-hmm. Almost you can almost see them like they're almost invisible. Yeah. Do you and, like resting? And I like my, like I like my, like my solitude there. Like when nobody's there, it's just me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this and is that, your home. This is my home. Yeah. It's not like a lot of furniture. It's just the main looks of it is like the walls being this part of the sphere, like clear. Like I can't see everything that's going on outside. I can see through. 
Okay, so you can see the city. Like everybody can see each other like, but nobody's speaking at nobody's houses mm -hmm. or places to live, but everything is clear. Okay. And there's fear. All right, just have your ears wide open. Listen with your heart. What planet is this? I created that planet. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Mm-hmm. Not cool. I don't see any other people. You don't? What are the other buildings for? It's part of my space. I can walk through through these bridges that are metal and the walls are see-through to get to one place to the other. But then, in the planet itself, it's dark. Mm -hmm. Is there sky? No. Mm -hmm. Everything is just dark. Dark. Like if it's suspended into, into the nothingness, it's just... Does it feel more like a dimension? Embedded into a space of space. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's like if you open part of the blackness and there's that space in there, and then you just place it there, and it's just there. Mm -hmm. And why did you create your planet like this? Where did you get your inspiration from? From privacy. Mm -hmm. You like being alone? Mm-hmm. Okay. But I enjoy being around people. Yeah. Apparently, I sell this idea to others and to other civilizations. You sell the idea? This is my business. Mm-hmm. Is it more of a trade? I don't see, like, any type of Currency. Right. But so what do you share with these other the, the, planets? The technology so that they can so they can do better. Because apparently that lightning could produce light. Okay. Mm -hmm. It produces resources for them. Water or light. Mm -hmm. But there's no financial. Yes, there's no there's no currency where yeah. you are. Mm -hmm. So, what do you get out of it? Do you just like to share it? Just, just the satisfaction mm -hmm. to share it and mm -hmm. and to give. Yes. To okay. expose the knowledge out there. Mm hmm And you came up with this all on your own? Yes, I don't see anybody else there. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think it's like I live in my own colony by myself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm curious if you connect with any type of council or elders that you might be working with? They come. Mm -hmm. They come to the lab. They do. They come and they take these big spheres like that with currents of electricity like going inside of them. Mm -hmm. It almost looks like they have like, like an eye inside. It does. That is full of like energy, like hairs of energy, like a lot of them, a lot of them, a lot of them. Like a lot of them. And it's mm -hmm. just like bright and, and energetic in there, like like so many of them. It's like a whole bunch of them. And what are they? Like fibers. 
Yeah, like fibers of electricity, you know, inside, inside that, that big sphere, and they come and they take them. Do you make them there in the lab? Yes. Okay, and then others come to pick those up? Yes. Mm -hmm. What do they do with it? They take them to their planets for okay. resource, for light, for mm -hmm. energy. Mm -hmm. Are there any types of beings that know about you that you maybe don't care for? No. You work well with others? Yes, I work well with everybody. Okay. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and move ahead in time. <laughs> 